Judy, you've done a lot of things over the course of your working career, but it seems that acting is something that you're really excelling at. Why is that? Uh, I think I've enjoyed all the jobs and careers I have had. I'm a, have a master's in counseling and I was a teacher and counselor, but um, I think I'm kind of past that and I, uh, I just love acting. I just I loved it in high school and then I didn't get much opportunity during college or anything, but I just love learning, you know, being all the different characters and just trying to get better and better at it. And I, I'm so thankful that we have the industry here in Michigan for the chance. You've done a wide range of roles, ranging from comedy and drama to improv. What's been your favorite film experience? Mm, I Bernie Tag is a local independent film director, and he picked me last year to be his fanatical Catholic woman um, in his film Acts of Contrition. And I had a scene with him, uh, or a scene where I'm in confession with a drunk priest. That was my, <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite. That's unheard of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, you recently you worked with a celebrity of some status, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Who might that have been? Gerard Butler. Really? Yeah, I'm never washing my arm because he touched me there and told me I did a great job. <laughs> so. what, and what film was that? Machine Gun Preacher. Now, you were also part of the Harold and Kumar franchise. Mm -hmm. you know, what was? I was a homeless woman, and um, Kumar... Um, they, he runs out his bathroom to the homeless and, and uh, so I come out of the bathroom and I say you guys are out of toilet paper <laughs> so that's my big line but it was a, it was a riot and you looked pretty much you looked really authentic didn't you yes because you had some trouble on the set uh, there weren't a lot of extras that day on the set so there weren't a lot of other people for me to really talk to anyway but because I was head to toe dirt and layers and layers of clothing. I looked very decrepit. Um, everybody avoided me. It was like I, I made them uncomfortable, and especially when we went and ate. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got to eat with the cast and crew, you know, the t directors and everybody, Did but it? I had dirt. I mean, my fingernails were just caked, and I had to sit, I mean, nobody really wanted to sit by me, and, you know. <laughs> and you've done one, uh, that really drew on an emotional well for you, one foot out the door. What what was that about? That was another Wayne student film, and Chris Check is the uh, writer director, and um, he did it as a memorial to his aunt who died of pancreatic cancer. So he chose me to have the lead, and in the film I'm a mom dying of cancer, and I have to tell my kids I'm dying and stuff, and. Um, as a seven-year breast cancer survivor myself, when the doctor diagnoses me in the office, it was real tears. I mean, it really brought it all back up, but, you know. Judy, what piece of advice do you have for somebody considering a career in the Michigan film industry? Uh, I think twofold. I think one is you got to be willing to do stuff for free. I mean, you can't, you're not going to get offered a high-paying gig first right out of the you know the door you have to work hard and you have to work free and that's how you get noticed and you and because we're all starting out you know we're all a lot of newbies so we just have to help each other out and and work for free and the other thing is I think you're fooling yourself if you don't think you need to take classes I mean I I've been taking classes I was in the very first class offered at Michigan Actors Studio with Rich and Rich Goteri and Rachel Bellack and I just think they're phenomenal. Their whole program's phenomenal, and you got to keep learning. You just have to. I, I think you're kidding yourself if you think you can just, you know, walk on a set and be a star. Now, is there a particular actor that inspires you the most? I, I like Kathy Bates. I think she's awesome. I think uh, I like the fact that she didn't even get started, get her break till she was in her 40s, and. Um, I just love her characters, and, and she seems so down to earth, and she, it hasn't gone to her head. She's mm -hmm. not all stuck on herself. And, a particular role of any? Um, I think I particularly liked her as Annie Wilkes in Misery. Oh, that Stephen King film. Yeah. 
Judy Stepanian, thank you so much for being with us today on Michigan Film News. My pleasure. It was a pleasure for us having you here. Thank was, you. It, thank you. Um, I was wondering, though, if I could ask, the, the demo reel that you, you burned for us, this disc, this disc isn't right for us, and it didn't really transition over as, as it should. Can you, can you do it again? Anything else I can get for you while I'm in town, Luke? Do you want a tiny tape recorder? Or a, how about a homemade pair of writing slippers? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. I do everything to make you happy. I, I feed you. I clean you. I dress you. And what thanks do I get? You burn the wrong disc, Judy. Burn me another disc, Judy. I'll buy you. I'll bring you another disc, Luke. But you better start showing me some appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Judy Stepanian, everybody. Impro.